When Entergy closed Vermont Yankee Nuclear Power Plant, the impact was swift and deep for the host town of Vernon. For those who worked at the plant and who found themselves without jobs, it was personal. The closing of Vermont Yankee, the only word I can think of to describe the events is devastating. It has been extremely difficult in this town to try to figure out where do we go from here and how do we change our lives and reinvent the town of Vernon. I have to say the biggest loss that we have felt since the announcement of the closing of Vermont Yankee was the human factor in our town. Because those 78 people were vibrant members of our community, we knew them all. They coached our kids, they served on our select boards, they were on our volunteer fire department. They were really good members of our community. Russ Rosinski was one of 78 Vernon residents who worked at Vermont Yankee. He was laid off in May and has decided to keep his family in Vermont. I was a senior project manager at Vermont Yankee. I uh, was at Vermont Yankee for 15 years. Just recently ended my 15 year career there on May 5th of 2016. And I've now started my own business, Bird Dog Home Inspection, and life goes on. I'm a person that's always operated on, on good principle and morals and it, it almost felt surreal going through the different legal battles, you know, being it with the state, um, you know, local anti-groups. Um, it just felt surreal that that the groups were even able to manipulate the legal system and the legislature to the degree that they were able to, you know, do so. And, you know, it called into question every bit of integrity that we had and um, it, was, it was pretty offensive to have that integrity, you know, called into question so much when you know, you know, what we did and how we did it. When the word came for closure of Vermont Yankee, um, I think there's a lot of us where, you know, it actually came off as being somewhat of a relief, you know, as, mm -hmm. as, disappointing as it was we knew that there was all of a sudden there was an end it didn't feel right it didn't you know it didn't feel just it didn't feel right there was just an odd sense of relief that was spawned from you know that finality i think that a lot has been made of a few vocal anti-nuclear activists who badmouth workers and mm -hmm. that it um, served energy that it be that way. Leslie Sullivan Sachs lives in Brattleboro and is a staff member for the Safe and Green campaign. The group was a vocal opponent of Vermont Yankee and is now involved with outreach and public education for the residents within 20 miles of the power plant. Um, you know, personally, mm -hmm. I can, can intellectually understand mm -hmm. how people would be supporters of nuclear power. Mm -hmm. um, they, you have to believe, if you're in that position, you have to believe that people can run complex technology without making mistakes. And they had that confidence as people who were trained. What I really disagreed with was Entergy using those people as human shields, which is what they did. They just used them in all of their advertising. They used them in every campaign that we would be talking about shutting down Vermont Yankee for environmental reasons or for public health reasons and um, they would talk about the workers. You just want to put these people out of work. And that simply isn't, was not a, our intent. Kate O'Connor is a native of Brattleboro and is now the executive director of the Area Chamber of Commerce. She is also the chair of the Citizens Decommissioning Advisory Panel. When I was growing up, the plant was operating and um, it was really just uh, 
way of life here for, for people in the area, and I don't think people um, thought much about it. You know, there were obviously people that were opposed to um, the plant and, and nuclear power, but I think in general it was just something, you know, Vermont Yankee is here. And it really wasn't until the plant closed that I think um, the community as a whole started to realize um, the you know human impact of that plant because their friends or their neighbors um, or somebody that they did business with uh, was either working at the plant or was a vendor that provided services to the plant. And I think that whether you were supported the plant or didn't support the plant, I think when it closed there there was that united understanding that there was really a human toll on the, on the people that lost their jobs. Ellen Coda was one of the employees laid off from Vermont Yankee. Instead of leaving the industry, she took a job in Plymouth at Pilgrim Nuclear Power Station. In August 2013, when we got the news at, at VY that the, the plant was going to be shutting down, I think we were all really devastated because nobody was expecting that. That was not that was not what we were we thought would happen. And my immediate thoughts were, you know, what am I going to do with my kids? You know, what about what's going on? Um, you know, with my with my job, my house, my life, <laughs> and and how are we going to how are we going to make it? This is an industry I've always really enjoyed. And once I joined the nuclear industry, I think it's a fabulous industry with the way it does things um, and I, that I didn't want to leave the industry so I guess that's a piece of it too I, so I was I was already thinking in August of, of 2013 okay where are we going to next how are we going to make this work last year Intergy announced that it will be closing the Plymouth station no later than 2019 now Coda is faced with making another decision about her future it was a little more expected. I don't know if it really was expected, but it, but when they were making an announcement, I thought, okay, here here we go again, and need to figure out what we're going to do next. But I knew that Entergy had kind of had taken care of us before, so I wasn't as worried as much about the job side of it. 